Oh, hello. Yes. I want to take you on a journey today. A journey through time to a simpler time when everyone was happy. Yes. All the way back to February this year. Yes. Um, yes. I'm just going to sort of choose uh, one particular story from one particular newspaper about one particular person. Uh, the newspaper being the Daily Mail, the story being um, Migrants in the Channel, and the person being uh, Glorious Leaderess Pretty Patel. Um, at the beginning of the year, there weren't many people crossing to the UK in boats because it was bleeding cold. And um, you just wouldn't want to do that, would you? I mean, Jesus, that's nippy. Being a foot above the water in February, you wouldn't want to do it. Anyway, our story starts in March. You may recall there were all these plans that we were going to dump people on islands that we used to own as part of the empire. And oddly enough, various of these islands decided they weren't keen on it, especially Gibraltar, Kel Surprise, who um, just, yeah, I mean, why would the Gibraltarians want that? Um, you know, I imagine they'd be as happy as, like, your average Isle of Man or Manx I, I don't know what they call themselves. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, let's let let's move on because uh, after that disappeared, you know, the Australian system. Yeah, let's dump them on an island because that works so well for Australia in terms of their human rights abuses. Um, um, don't go there. Um. So yes, uh, come April, we ended up having lots of people starting to make journeys, didn't we? Something must be done. Something must be done. Something must be done. So Queen Speech, hurrah! Gonna definitely get on top of that. No, they ain't coming anymore. So, inevitably, come June, then they're still coming. So, you sack the manager a bit like in football, don't you? Yeah, you can get rid of him. He's, he was a bit useless. But now, now he's going to round the boys up together and ball to force. Definitely, definitely. Balls in the back of the net, mate. Um, so, obviously, by uh, July, you've got... Um, the Daily Mail's getting a bit hacked off with this because people are still coming and nothing appears to be done. It's sort of odd, isn't it, um, for uh, sort of dynamic Patel? Um, so, August, yes. Oh, no. Oh, dear. There's, there's, there's more people than ever, aren't there? And people are getting quite cross about this. Still, never mind. Uh, come September, there she is, having visited Greece. She's now going to visit Dover and look at things. Excellent. Uh, that's kind of six months on from where we were but uh, I'm sure she's got a master plan and yes it is to allow people to die and um, you know those people allowing people to die not the RNLI obviously because they're Marxists they don't do that but um, Border Force yes we remember that we're going to be that was only a month ago they were going to be granted immunity from basically allowing children to die in the channel yeah, I imagine they're going to get an awful lot of very, very, very stable people to do that job. Great. OK, I don't recall that in the Queen's speech, but um, perhaps I missed that. Anyway, we brings us to now. OK, yeah, same story. Same person, same newspaper, same interesting lines should we say and of course now with a, a bomb or two going off it, it magically has 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 greater resonance because we all know that people arriving here on boats are potential bombers allegedly as Nigel Farage said you never know do you Nigel so yeah there we have it um the year in Pretty Patel and migrants um Every month she says something which almost inevitably is actually illegal on some form of international law and it's dutifully, dutifully reported in the newspapers and it's definitely going to work this time and nothing happens. Now, either it's that Pretty Patel is incredibly incompetent yeah, I mean, it's entirely possible or maybe it's just kind of useful, isn't it? Yeah? It's kind of useful because when you point at brown people in boats from Dover, you can say, oh, look over there. No, don't, we're not, we can't talk about that now. We can't talk about COVID or Brexit or, or, or the recession or poverty or climate change because, look, there's a person in a dinghy. And the thought occurred to me last night. Um, somebody from Syria um, would have had to have travelled through a large number of countries to get here, would have had to have shown an enormous amount of resilience and the ability to plan ahead thoroughly. And if they really do come here in order to take advantage of our benefits system, it shows a level of forward planning 
in terms of weighing up different pro probabilities in different countries, which is way more advanced than the average UK person. And they sound exactly like the kind of entrepreneur entrepreneurial and enterprising people we want to have here. I mean, you know, I don't think people like that are going to necessarily blow themselves up as suicide bombers. I think they'd be a real boon to the British economy. Maybe we should have that as a chat in the Daily Mail. It's not going to happen, is it? No, it's not going to happen. Still, it's an interesting idea. I might put that to Nigel next time. <laughs>